The Life of Tsunade from Naruto. Tsunade is a descendant of the Senju and Uzumaki clans and is one of Konohagakure's Sanin. She is famed as the world's strongest kunoichi and its greatest medical nin. The repeated loss of her loved ones caused Tsunade to later abandon the life of a shinobi for many years. She's eventually persuaded to return to Konoha and take on the mantle of the 5th Hokage, where her skills prove invaluable to the village. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over the life of Tsunade. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Amagi's reach stretches beyond just this channel, so if you're a fan of us, please consider subscribing to our other channels and following us on all of our social media. Help us reach our goal of passing 100,000 followers on all of our accounts by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Background Tsunade is the granddaughter of Hashirama Senju and Mito Uzumaki. Because Hashirama was the first Hokage of Konohagakure, Tsunade is called Princess. Hashirama doted on Tsunade when she was very young because she was his first grandchild and found her deviance and her adoption of his own gambling habits highly amusing. Tsunade inherited his necklace when he died. After she graduated from Konoha's academy, Tsunade was teamed with Orochimaru and Jiraiya under the leadership of Hiruzen Sarutobi. When Jiraiya failed to acquire a bell during the team's first bell test, Tsunade teased him, prompting her to criticize her flat chest. Despite this remark, Jiraiya had a certain interest in Tsunade from their first meeting, which only increased after her breasts developed. When she nearly killed him for spying on her while she bathed, he was forced to be more discreet about his interests. Tsunade's younger brother Naoki dreamed of someday becoming the Hokage so he could protect Konoha, their grandfather's legacy. On Naoki's 12th birthday, Tsunade kissed his forehead and gave him Hashirama's necklace in the hopes that it would help him achieve his dream. He died the next day, a casualty of the ongoing Second Shinobi World War, thus returning the necklace to her. Tsunade began advocating for the inclusion of medical nin on all four-man squads in order to avoid further deaths like Naoki's. Hiruzen, the third Hokage, agreed with her arguments but could not dedicate resources to the necessary implementation due to the ongoing war. Dan Kato, on the other hand, shared her views, and as their relationship developed, he confided with her his dreams of becoming Hokage so he could bring change to Konoha and protect his loved ones from death. Tsunade kissed his forehead and gave him Hashirama's necklace in the hopes that it would help him achieve his dream. Although their team under Hirozen's leadership had been disbanded, Tsunade, Orochimaru, and Jiraiya continued fighting during the Second Shinobi World War. During one such fight in Amegakure, they were the only three to survive an encounter with Hanzo, for which accomplishment Hanzo dubbed them Konoha's legendary Sanin. In the aftermath of the battle, Jiraiya opted not to return to Konoha so he could train with the Ame orphans. Tsunade would go on to make her own independent contributions to the war, frequently counteracting Chiyo of Tsunagakure's poisons. Though Tsunade's actions are said to have won the war for Konoha, Tsunade was unable to prevent Dan's death, and her failure to stop his severe blood loss caused her to develop hemophobia. With Dan's death, Hashirama's necklace returned to Tsunade once again, convincing some that the necklace was cursed to kill anyone who wore it other than Tsunade. Tsunade herself became convinced that achieving one's dreams was impossible and that to be Hokage was a fool's job. She therefore left Konoha, taking Dan's niece Shizune with her to train as an apprentice. Due to her hemophobia, Tsunade retired from any direct involvement in medicine or combat, instead relying on Shizune whenever a need for either came up. Search for Tsunade Tsunade hits a jackpot while playing the slot machines in Tenzaku Quarters. She takes this as a sign that something bad is about to happen and makes immediate plans to leave the city, but Shizune convinces her to visit a local castle before they go. While they're there, the castle is destroyed by a snake, Orochimaru's way of saying hello. Tsunade immediately notices the damage to his arms and guessing he wants her to heal them, preemptively refuses. Orochimaru's assistant, Kabuto Yakushi, explains that they've tried all other options and that only Tsunade can help. She asks how his arms were damaged, to which Orochimaru responds that the damage was received while he killed Hiruzen Sarutobi. Tsunade becomes enraged and threatens to kill Orochimaru, but he piques her interest when he offers to revive Nawaki and Dan Kato. Tsunade asks what he would do if his arms were restored. Orochimaru replies that he would destroy Konohagakure, which is what he was trying to do when his arms were damaged in the first place. Shizune tries to convince Tsunade to help her kill Orochimaru and Kabuto, but they decide to leave instead, giving Tsunade a week to decide. While having dinner later, they are found by Jiraiya. Jiraiya asks her to become the fifth Hokage, which she refuses, upsetting Jiraiya's companion Naruto Uzumaki. 
Tsunade recognizes Naruto as the Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails and starts remarking on what a waste it was for the fourth Hokage to give his life, saving Konoha from the Nine Tails. She reflects further that all the past Hokage have wasted their lives for the village and concludes that only a fool would ever want the title. Naruto, who has his own dreams of being Hokage, is enraged and tries to attack Tsunade. Jiraiya holds him back, but Tsunade agrees to fight him outside the restaurant. Tsunade easily outmatches Naruto using only one finger for offense and defense, but she's unsettled by how similar his resolve is to Nawaki and Dan's. When she's distracted by this, Naruto attacks her with an incomplete Rasengan, which she once again avoids only using a finger. She berates Jiraiya for teaching Naruto the Rasengan at all, declaring it cruel to let someone as untalented as him believe he can master something as complicated as the Rasengan. Naruto vows to complete it in three days, prompting Tsunade to make a wager. If Naruto can master the Rasengan in a week, she'll give him the first Hokage's necklace. If she can't, she gets his wallet. Naruto agrees. Tsunade and Jiraiya have drinks later. Jiraiya guesses that Orochimaru made some offer to Tsunade. He doesn't ask for details about the offer, but he promises to personally kill her if she does anything to endanger Konoha. She claims not to care about the village, so Jiraiya reminds her of how important the village was to Nawaki and Dan. He further notes how similar they, particularly Nawaki, are to Naruto. Tsunade keeps tabs on Naruto as he trains, but by the end of the week he has failed to master the Rasengan and the intense training leaves him bedridden. Shizune pleads with Tsunade not to accept the Orochimaru's deal, and when this fails, she tries to use force, prompting Tsunade to knock her out. She meets with Jiraiya again and drugs his drink, knocking him out, and when he wakes up the next morning, making it difficult for him to use chakra. Tsunade meets with Orochimaru and agrees to heal his arms on the condition that he would leave Konoha alone. Orochimaru agrees. She approaches him, apparently to heal him, but Kabuto notices that at the last moment she has killing intent and stops her. Orochimaru questions why she would deceive him, to which she replies that she knew he was lying about sparing Konoha. Although she desperately wants to see Nawaki and Dan again, she knows they wouldn't want to be brought back at the cost of Konoha's safety, something Naruto has reminded her of. Orochimaru and Kabuto state that they'll force her to heal his arms, causing her to attack them. They draw her away from the city and Kabuto, a medic nin, tries neutralizing her, but she heals all the debilitating damage he does. Unable to stop her through conventional means, Kabuto slits his own wrists and coats her with his blood, paralyzing her due to her phobia. Jiraiya, Shizune, and Naruto eventually arrive to help. Shizune looks after Tsunade as she shudders from the blood while Jiraiya fights Orochimaru and Naruto fights Kabuto. Naruto is quickly defeated by Kabuto, as is Shizune when she tries to face him afterwards. Kabuto approaches Tsunade and tries to restrain her, which she is unable to fend off in her condition. Naruto stops him and attacks with an incomplete Rasengan, but misses, causing Kabuto to start commenting on his lack of talent, just as Tsunade did the week before. Naruto persists, and after making a Shadow Clone to help him, he is able to strike Kabuto with a perfected Rasengan. Kabuto is defeated, but as his last act, he severs Naruto's heart muscles. Tsunade tries healing him, fearing that he'll die just like Nawaki and Dan did. She succeeds, and in a brief moment of regained consciousness, Naruto claims the necklace he's won. Orochimaru decides to kill Naruto and attacks with his sword of Kusanagi. Tsunade uses her body to block the attack, her way of protecting Naruto, Konoha's future Hokage. Orochimaru keeps trying to attack him, which Tsunade keeps using her body to block. Her resolve to protect Naruto eventually overcomes her fear of blood, allowing her to go on the offensive. She kicks Orochimaru, activates Creation Rebirth to heal all the damage she has received, and declares her acceptance of the position of 5th Hokage. She, Jiraiya, and Orochimaru each summon Katsuyu, Gamabunta, and Manda, respectively. When Manda proves too elusive for Katsuyu and Gamabunta, Tsunade uses Gamabunta's sword to pin Manda to the ground with his mouth shut. She then delivers a series of punches to Orochimaru's face, forcing him to escape with Kabuto. Before he leaves, he warns that he has other ways of fixing his arms. Having used so much chakra during the fight, Tsunade's younger transformation fades after the battle, but it is restored before Naruto wakes up. Naruto expresses his concern that she isn't qualified to be 5th Hokage, being vastly inferior to Hiruzen. Tsunade challenges him to a fight and once again outmatches him using a single finger. Rather than defeat him, however, she kisses his forehead to symbolize her faith in his achieving his dreams, just as she once did for Nawaki and Dan. Sasuke Recovery Mission When they get back to Konoha, the villagers start making preparations to officially place Tsunade into office. Before that can happen, Naruto has Tsunade heal the damage to the minds of Kakashi Hadake and Sasuke Uchiha. 
She also looks at the damage to Rock Lee's spine. Although she's the only one who can fix it, she confesses that there's a 50% chance he wouldn't survive the procedure and recommends he give up on life as a ninja. After thinking it over, Lee tells her plainly that being a ninja is his dream, which she cannot argue with. In the anime, Tsunade tries to improve his chances of survival by studying one of Kabuto's jutsu, and in doing so, she improves Lee's odds to 58%. Lee ultimately survives the procedure. Being Hokage comes with a heavy workload, especially in the aftermath of Orochimaru's Konoha crush, which left the village understaffed. For this reason, when Tsunade is informed that Sasuke has defected to Orochimaru, Shikamaru Nara, only recently promoted to Chunin, is the highest ranking ninja she can assign to lead the Sasuke recovery team. She allows him any genin he can recruit for the mission, although she recommends Naruto's inclusion. After the recovery team leaves, Tsunade is notified of the Konoha Special Mission Platoon's defeat by the Sound 4, Sasuke's escorts. Having already suspected that a team of genin won't be enough, she requests Tsunagakure's support so that Orochimaru, a mutual enemy of both villages, can't gain Sasuke's Sharingan. She's also informed that Lee, despite still recovering from his surgery, has also gone off to lend support. Despite the best efforts of the recovery team, Lee and Suna's three sand siblings are unable to stop Sasuke from joining forces with Orochimaru. Tsunade sends the medic corps to retrieve the recovery team's members and tend to their injuries. Tsunade, by studying the Nara clan medical encyclopedia, is able to cure Choji Akamichi of the three colored pills side effects. Tsunade is later approached by Sakura Haruno, who wants to be taught medical ninjutsu. Seeing that Sakura has something she wants to protect, Naruto and Sasuke, Tsunade agrees. Mizuki Tracking Mission Jiraiya makes plans to take Naruto away from the village to train him. In the anime, Naruto must remain in Konoha while Jiraiya is off investigating, and it's up to Tsunade to keep him preoccupied with other missions so he won't go after Sasuke by himself. When, during one of these missions, the legendary Stupid Brothers escape from prison, Tsunade convinces them to surrender with a quick display of Genjutsu and her strength. The Appearance of Strange Visitors In the anime, Tsunade learns that Rock Lee and Might Guy are being impersonated by Mondai and Pacha. Deciding to have fun with the two, Tsunade pretends to believe their disguises and has them do many arduous tasks for her. The workload horrifies the two and eventually drives them away from the village. In Naruto's Footsteps, The Friends' Paths Sakura progresses rapidly under Tsunade's tutelage. In the anime, Ino Yamanaka also asks to train with Tsunade. From seeing the rivalry that exists between Sakura and Ino, and how competition drives them each to do better, Tsunade agrees. However, she teaches Ino only the medical ninjutsu and not the additional skills she teaches Sakura, believing that it would be better for Ino to focus on her clan's hidden jutsu. About two years after Naruto leaves Konoha to train with Jiraiya, Tsunade proposes to Suna's fifth Kazakage that their two villages hold a Chunin exam. Publicly, the exam will demonstrate the alliance that now exists between their two villages. Secretly, the exam will hopefully draw out Akatsuki, who are after Jinchuriki like the Kazakage. The Kazakage agrees, and the two villages split responsibilities for the exams. She sends Kakashi Harake to invite Amegakure to the exams, with instructions to investigate rumors that Ame's leader, Hanzo, has been overthrown. Ame accepts the invitation, and Kakashi is unable to uncover anything, but both are convinced that something unusual is happening in Ame. The first stage of the exams is completed in Konoha without incident. Before the examinees and proctors relocate to Suna for the second stage, Tsunade warns the Konoha personnel to be alert for attacks on the Kazakage. The Kazakage is indeed attacked during the second stage, forcing the exams to be cancelled prematurely. Performance reports on the remaining participants are sent to the respective villages to decide who would be promoted to Chunin. Tsunade promotes the members of Team 8, Team 10, and Team Guy. She also promotes Neji Hyuga to Jonin because of his role in protecting the Kazakage. Kazakage Rescue Mission Tsunade is informed of Naruto's return to Konoha after two and a half years of training. She shares this news with Sakura, and together they welcome him back. Tsunade has Naruto and Sakura reform Team 7 under Kakashi's leadership. While trying to find a mission to send Team 7 on that Naruto won't complain about, Tsunade receives a report that Tsuna's fifth Kazakage has been kidnapped by Akatsuki. Tsunade decides to send Team 7 to lend assistance in the Kazakage's rescue in full awareness that Akatsuki wants to capture Naruto too. She isn't initially concerned, but when she suddenly wins the lottery, she takes this as a bad sign and sends Team Guy to provide additional support. A few days later, they receive news that the Kazakage was successfully rescued and that Team 7 and Guy will be returning to Konoha. Shizune questions the wisdom of sending Naruto into battle with the Akatsuki, to which Tsunade replies that because both Naruto and the Kazakage are Jinchuriki, Naruto was the single best person for the mission. Naruto Shippuden The Movie The demon Morio raises an army of stone warriors in an attempt to take over the world. 
Tsunade sends most of Konoha's forces to fight these warriors. She also sends a team consisting of Naruto, Sakura, Neji, Hyuga, and Rock Lee to guard Shion, a priestess who can stop Morio. Tenchi Bridge Reconnaissance Mission When she gets back to Konoha, Sakura shares intel she's received of an opportunity to meet with a spy in Orochimaru's ranks, what may serve as an opportunity to find Sasuke Uchiha. Kakashi is left bedridden after the mission in Suna, requiring that new members be assigned to Team 7 to go meet the spy. Shizune once again questions Naruto's inclusion on the team, believing it would be safer to keep him in Konoha. Tsunade insists that Naruto is one of the few people she can trust with the mission with absolute certainty, and that besides, it's a personal matter for him and he wouldn't allow himself to be excluded. Tsunade is shortly afterwards summoned before the Konoha Council, with whom Shizune has shared her concerns, and who also believe that Tsunade is deploying Naruto irresponsibly. Tsunade repeats her earlier reasoning, adding that Akatsuki will inevitably come for Naruto, and if he keeps getting sent out on missions, it'll make it more difficult for Akatsuki to locate him. The Konoha Council relents after Tsunade promises to be held solely responsible in the event that her decisions and or Naruto's capture endanger Konoha. They do, however, insist on including one of Danzo Shimura's underlings, Sai, on this new Team 7, which Tsunade agrees to. Tsunade also assigns an Anbu, codenamed Yamato, to lead Team 7, partly so he can keep an eye on Sai, but also because his wood release will help Naruto keep the Nine Tails under control. Although the new Team 7 does intend to meet Sasuke, they fail in bringing him back to Konoha. Naruto and the others are not deterred, however, and vow to try again, which Tsunade approves. 12 Guardian Ninja In the anime, Tsunade sends Team 7 to investigate some grave robberies near the Fire Temple. When they return, they report that the robbers, whoever they are, have a seeming interest in the graves of members of the 12 Guardian Ninja. Because Sai was injured during the investigation, the Fire Temple allows Sora to fill in for him. Tsunade receives a confidential message that Sora's past and unusual powers pose a risk to the Fire Temple. Meanwhile, Tsunade has Danzo taken into custody on the suspicion that he's betraying Konoha to Ame Gakure. When she interrogates Danzo's apparent Ame contact, the Konoha Council informs her that the man is a double agent who has reported that the grave robbers may be after Sora. The counselors recommend that Sora be either confined or eliminated. While Tsunade tries to decide what to do, Sora attacks her, but he's driven off by the arrival of Shuzune and Naruto. The grave robbers soon afterwards arrive in Konoha, erecting a giant barrier around the village while earthen zombies attack. While most of Konoha's forces go on the defensive, Tsunade sends Asuma Sarutobi to retrieve Sora. Sora eventually starts rampaging through the village with the Nine Tails chakra he has, and Tsunade prepares to confront him, but Naruto ends up dealing with it. Once the grave robbers are all defeated, Tsunade pardons Sora for his actions and allows him to leave Konoha. Akatsuki Suppression Mission Tsunade receives increasing reports of Akatsuki activity in other countries. She can't do anything until they enter the Land of Fire, but nevertheless starts making preparations. Once she receives news of Akatsuki's attack on the Fire Temple, Tsunade mobilizes 20 platoons to find the Akatsuki members, capture them if possible, and if capture is impossible, to eliminate them. Although one of the 20 platoons is able to find the Akatsuki members, Hidan and Kakazu, both elude capture and Asuma Saratobi is killed. A funeral is held in Konoha while the remaining 20 platoons continue the search. Asuma's students on Team 10 leave Konoha to join the search and avenge him, which Tsunade tries to stop, citing among other reasons that they need a fourth member. Kakashi volunteers to accompany them, and Tsunade is forced to relent. Tsunade is aware that they'll need backup and starts looking for candidates. She has Sakura tell Naruto that if he would like to go, he'll first need to complete the new jutsu he's been working on. He does indeed complete it, and the Akatsuki members are ultimately defeated. Tsunade afterwards performs an autopsy in Kakazu's body, examining the damage that Naruto's new Rasen Shuriken did to it. From the cellular damage Kakazu received, Tsunade concludes that the Rasen Shuriken is as dangerous to Naruto as it is to his opponents, and therefore should not be used again. Three Tails Appearance In the anime, Tsunade receives a dying Anbu's report about one of Orochimaru's bases. She puts Kakashi in charge of Team 8 and sends them to investigate. Because the mission has the chance of meeting Sasuke, Tsunade tries to keep Naruto from finding out about it. He finds out anyway, so Tsunade allows him and the rest of Team 7 to provide backup. Their teams later report encountering the Three Tails, which Tsunade decides must be dealt with in order to prevent it from falling into enemy hands. She then sends them instructions for a seal to place on the Three Tails, some Konoha personnel to help perform the seal, as well as part of Katsuyu to provide additional assistance. Orochimaru's forces repeatedly interfere with the ceiling, so Tsunade has some Anbu take over the ceiling while the others return to Konoha. 
She later loses contact with the Anbu and the Three Tails disappears, leading Tsunade to suspect Akatsuki's involvement. Itachi Pursuit Mission Jiraiya visits Tsunade and reports the rumors that Orochimaru has been killed by Sasuke. They share these rumors with Naruto and Sakura, who suspect that Sasuke is making moves against his brother, Itachi Uchiha of Akatsuki. Naruto proposes that they try and locate Itachi so that they can, in turn, find Sasuke. Despite how unsuccessful previous attempts to capture Akatsuki members have been, Tsunade approves the formation of a combined eight-man squad to find Itachi. Jiraiya visits Tsunade later with the news that he's discovered the location of Akatsuki's leader, though he refuses to go into more detail until she meets him for drinks. While having sake, Jiraiya shares news of Amegakure's ongoing civil war, which the Akatsuki leader is rumored to be behind. Because Amegakure is in a delicate political situation, Jiraiya must infiltrate the village by himself to confirm before Konoha can take direct action. Tsunade feels guilty for always relying on him to do dangerous work like this and reflects on happier times, before Orochimaru's apparent death, and when he was still their friend. As Jiraiya prepares to leave, Tsunade instructs him to be sure to come back alive, fearing what his death might do to her. Later, Shizune senses that Tsunade is worried about Jiraiya and tries to reassure her that he'll be fine. Tsunade replies that he won't be back, which is a new tactic she's trying. She's betting on the one thing she doesn't want to have happen, relying on her bad luck to prevent her bet from coming true. Naruto Shippuden the movie, The Will of Fire. Hiroko, a former friend of the Sanin, declares the start of the fourth Shinobi World War. Due to how he makes his announcement, the other villages come to believe that Konoha is aiding Hiroko's schemes and so start amassing against Konoha. When Tsunade tries to defuse the situation, Kakashi confides in her that he met Hiroko many years ago and was branded with a mind-controlling technique that will force him to go with Hiroko. Knowing that this will happen soon and that Hiroko will at some point try to take his Sharingan, Kakashi asks Tsunade to place a seal in him that will activate his Mangekyo Sharingan when Hiroko tries to do so, thus killing him and preventing the war. Tsunade complies, and once Kakashi is gone, she declares him a missing nin to keep his plans a secret. She forbids anyone from going after him, but Naruto ends up ignoring her. Six Tales Unleashed In the anime, Konoha receives reports of an attack on the Tsuchigumo clan, and as a consequence, their forbidden technique is at risk. Because the returning eight-man squad is closest to the Tsuchigumo clan's location, Tsunade sends Katsuyu to intercept them and give them their assignment to protect the Tsuchigumo. Pain's Assault Fukasaku, a former teacher of Jiraiya, reports to Tsunade that Jiraiya died while investigating the Akatsuki leader, Pain. Tsunade summons Naruto to her office so that Fukasaku can also tell him the news, who they expect will have greater difficulty. Naruto is indeed upset and blames Tsunade for his death, saying that she should not have let him go. Sakura tries to stop him from storming out, but Tsunade lets him go. Tsunade makes investigating Pain's identity using the information Jiraiya gathered top priority. She has Shizune examine the animal path's body, she has Ibiki Morino interrogate the prisoner Jiraiya captured, she has Shikamaru Nara decipher the coded message Jiraiya left behind. When Shikamaru tries objecting to the assignment, Tsunade ignores him, leaves, and once she's alone, she cries for Jiraiya. Knowing that pain will be coming for him, Naruto goes to Mount Myomboku to train with Fukasaku. The investigations into Pain's identity continue, but none are completed prior to Pain's assault on Konoha. Tsunade sends orders for Naruto to be recalled to Konoha, but she's stopped by the Konoha Council, who feel that Naruto is safest where he is. Tsunade becomes angry with both counselors and berates them for lacking even the barest faith in Naruto's ability to save himself. The counselors are affronted by how she handles them and leave, but tell her to do what she wants. Tsunade heads to the roof of the Hokage residence and summons Katsuyu, who she instructs to divide and attach to all of Konoha's villagers so that Tsunade can heal them remotely. As Katsuyu's divisions spread throughout the village, Tsunade starts to fully appreciate the extent of the damage that Pain's attack is doing. When she senses, through Katsuyu, that Kakashi has died, she destroys a nearby spire out of frustration. Pain's diva path eventually finds her. As her Anbu bodyguards move in to protect her, Tsunade recognizes the diva path as an orphan that Jiraiya once trained. The diva path asks Tsunade where Naruto is, which she refuses to reveal. The diva path blames Konoha's past action for the contemporary dire state of the world and Tsunade's refusal to cooperate with Akatsuki for the attack on the village. Tsunade is unmoved, but Pain is able to find out where Naruto is through other means. Before leaving, the diva path states that it will show Konoha the pain that the rest of the world has known for too long. The diva path leaps into the air and Tsunade tries to follow. As it destroys Konoha with Shinra Tensei, Tsunade transfers all of her chakra to Katsuyu to use in keeping the villagers safe. When the dust clears, Tsunade finds the village gone. 
she confronts these six paths of pain and vows to personally defeat them. The Asura path attacks her, which Naruto, newly returned, destroys in order to save her. Naruto asks Tsunade to trust Pain's defeat to him, and has Gamakichi take Tsunade to Sakura. Having done all she can and with all her chakra gone, Tsunade's youthful transformation fades and she falls into a coma. Fourth Shinobi World War, Countdown After Tsunade regains consciousness many days later, she's immediately embraced by Shizune. As she eats to replenish her chakra reserve, Tsunade is told of all that's happened while she's been unconscious. Naruto's victory over pain, Tobi of Akatsuki's declaration of a fourth shinobi world war, the formation of the allied shinobi forces. Kakashi discusses these matters with him and also thanks her for waking up in time so that he would not need to make her replacement as Hokage. Once she's done eating, she convenes a war council to discuss Konoha's strategies for the upcoming war and any preparations that will need to be made. A few days later, Tsunade travels to Kumogakure to meet with the other heads of the Alliance and discuss topics of broader importance. Chief among these is what to do with Naruto and Killer B, whose capture Tobi started the war for. The Alliance's other leaders have already decided to send them into seclusion, which Tsunade strongly disagrees with, believing that they'd be invaluable on the battlefield. The fifth Kazakage quickly disagrees, reminding her that Naruto has the tendency to be reckless for his friends, which in turn would place him at too much risk. Knowing she was overruled, Tsunade reluctantly agrees that Naruto and B are sent to the island turtle. In the anime, after meeting with the other heads of the alliance, she requested that B teach Naruto to achieve control over the Ninetales in the event that they would have to be deployed, which A approved. As they move on to other matters, Tsunade takes particular interest in equipping the logistical support and medical division with enough supplies. Naruto the movie, Blood Prison. When Naruto is accused of trying to assassinate the fourth Rekage, Tsunade orders he be imprisoned in the blood prison despite his claims of innocence. Tsunade is fully aware that Naruto did nothing wrong, but needs to follow through in order to draw out a conspiracy rooted in the blood prison. Once the conspiracy is exposed, Tsunade leads Konoha's forces in rescuing Naruto from his wrongful imprisonment. Road to Ninja, Naruto the Movie the Tsunade of the Genjutsu world wears glasses, is flat-chested, and is fairly responsible. Whereas the real Tsunade looks younger than her age, this Tsunade looks older than her age. Power In the anime, Tsunade sends Team 7 to investigate the massacre of the Tonika village. When Team 7 reports Kabuto Yakushi's use of the impure world reincarnation, Tsunade sends them all available backup. Paradise Life on a Boat in the anime, Tsunade sends Sakura to Benisu Island to collect medicinal herbs for the war effort. She later refuses Konohamaru Sarutobi's request to join the allied shinobi forces. Fourth Shinobi World War, Confrontation Most of the Alliance's leaders head to the battlefield when the war begins, but Tsunade and the fourth Raikage remain at the allied headquarters to discuss tactics, coordinate troop movements, and process new intel. On the first night of fighting, they receive reports that Naruto and B have escaped the island turtle. The Raikage takes Tsunade with him to head them off. She leaves behind one of Katsuyu's divisions in case she needs to be contacted about anything. Once they locate Naruto and B, the Raikage blocks their process and tries to convince them to return to the island turtle. Naruto implores Tsunade to let them pass, but she explains that she must do what's in the best interest of the entire allied shinobi forces. Naruto's continuing obstinance prompts the Raikage to decide to kill him so that Akatsuki can't capture him. Tsunade cannot allow this and steps in, observing that Naruto's new Ninetales chakra mode indicates his unprecedented control over the Ninetales, something that may never be replicated in future Jinchuriki of the Ninetales. The best course, she argues, is to let Naruto use his new power to try and win the war. The Raikage is not openly convinced by Tsunade's, B's, or Naruto's words and appears willing to fight, but when Naruto is finally able to get past him, the Raikage doesn't pursue. When Tsunade and the Raikage return to the headquarters, they're informed that the White Zetsu army is cultivated from the DNA of Hashirama Senju. Tsunade is upset by the continued use of her grandfather's abilities and what else Tobi might have used them for, but believes Naruto may be able to root out Zetsus that have infiltrated the allied forces. Fourth Shinobi World War, Climax Naruto, using Shadow Clones, does indeed help defeat the Zetsu army, finding those that are disguised, defeating those that aren't, and helping capture any remaining reincarnated forces. The apparent victory is cut short by the sudden appearance of the reincarnated Madara Uchiha, who proceeds to decimate the 4th Division. Wishing to join the battle, Tsunade has Mabui transfer her to the site of Madara's battle with the 4th Division, using Creation Rebirth to heal the damage that the transfer does to her body. The Raikage joins her, and they arrive in time to save the 5th Kazakage and the 3rd Suchikage from Madara's attack. Tsunade heals them, and after being joined by the 5th Mizukage, the 5 Kage face off with Madara. 
Confident they can defeat him, they tell one of Naruto's shadow clones to entrust Madara to them and then go defeat Tobi elsewhere. Tsunade initially takes a supplementary role during the battle, healing the other Kage's injuries and replenishing their chakra as needed. She is surprised when Madara is able to use her grandfather's wood release, which they eventually discover to be due to a cloned graft of Hashirama's face that has been implanted in Madara's body. Madara senses that Tsunade is descended from Hashirama and decides to kill her first because she is so much weaker than her ancestor. She acknowledges that she did not inherit all of Hashirama's natural gifts, but does have his will of fire, which drove her to create the Ninja Art Creation Rebirth, Strength of a Hundred technique. After activating the technique, she joins the other Kage in attacking him. Madara is unimpressed, but Tsunade is nevertheless able to punch through his body, giving the Kazakage a chance to try and seal him. Madara eludes capture and uses Susanoo's sword to stab Tsunade. Madara assumes she's dead, but Tsunade removes the sword from her body and attacks him with it, convincing him that maybe she did indeed inherit something from Hashirama. He in fact admits that all the Kage have posed him some challenge, but claims that it's only because they outnumber him 5 to 1. In order to make things fair, he creates 25 wood clones, 5 for each Kage to fight. The wood clones each use Susano and fight the Kage into the night. Despite these superior forces against them, the Kage are able to combine forces against the original Madara, impressing him enough to use Susanoo's complete body form. Before he can use it to destroy the Kage, the impure world reincarnation is released and Madara's soul starts returning to the pure land. Madara uses the remaining moments before his soul departs trying to finish off the Kage. Tsunade takes responsibility for blocking his attacks, expecting that her creation rebirth will heal the damage, but she runs out of chakra and is left at Madara's mercy. She is saved by Dan Kato's spirit transformation technique, his soul having also been released from the impure world reincarnation. Tsunade uses the little time that they have apologizing to him for abandoning his dreams for so many years after he died, but that she now tries to keep his dreams alive in her capacity as Hokage. He thanks her for continuing his dream, but tells her that the greatest service that she can do to him is to stay alive, as she herself is his dream. He kisses her forehead before vanishing and transfers all of his chakra to her. Though Tsunade is rejuvenated, Madara has used this time, removing the impure world reincarnation user's control over him, thus allowing him to stay. Now free to do what he wants, Madara decides he's lost interest in the Kage and states his intentions to go after Naruto. The Kage try and stop him and thus fulfill their promise to Naruto, but Madara defeats them all and leaves them near death. Tsunade, despite being bisected in the battle, is able to summon Katsuyu. She asks Katsuyu to bring the other Kage closer to her so she can try and save their lives. Tsunade is later found by Orochimaru, Suigetsu Hozuki, and Karin. Tsunade has almost used all of her chakra on the other Kage and now lacks the energy to even speak. After assuring Katsuyu that he wants to help, Orochimaru has Karin replenish Tsunade's chakra and has Suigetsu assist Katsuyu with putting Tsunade's halves back together. Tsunade reluctantly thanks Orochimaru when she's restored and notes a change in him, a change that might have saved Jiraiya if it had happened sooner. Orochimaru departs, leaving Tsunade to finish healing the Kage. Birth of the Ten Tails Jinjuriki once all the Kage are healed, the Kazakage transports them to where the allied forces are fighting. Along the way, Katsuyu informs them of what's been happening up until now. As they near the battlefield, a reincarnated Hashirama Senju contacts all of the allied powers. After briefly saying hello to Tsunade, Hashirama reveals the purpose of the God Tree recreation now looming over them, to cast the infinite Tsukiyomi. Much of the infantry is thrown into disarray from fear of what will happen, but when the Kage finally arrive, they rally their forces against the God Tree. Tsunade locates Sakura and teams up with her to summon a large segment of Katsuyu, which dissolves across the battlefield so Tsunade and Sakura can constantly rejuvenate everyone as they fight. Although they aren't able to cut down the god tree, the allies are able to help Naruto defeat Tobi, real name Obito Uchiha. Naruto leaves to fight Madara, leaving the rest of the allied forces to fight another Zetsu. Tsunade lacks the chakra necessary to participate in the fight, much less continue performing medical ninjutsu. For this reason, when the Kazakage brings Naruto to her in need of emergency life support, Tsunade sends Sakura to help him. Kaguya Otsutsuki strikes. Despite the allied forces' efforts, they are unable to stop Madara from casting the infinite Tsukiyomi, trapping the world in a dream. Tsunade dreams of a Konoha where Dan is Hokage, where Naoki and Jiraiya are still alive, and where Orochimaru never defected from the village. In the anime, while waiting to join Dan for a Kage summit, she reads a novel written by Jiraiya, titled Jiraiya Shinobi Handbook, The Tale of Naruto the Hero, despite her telling him that she had no interest in it earlier. In the novel, Konoha went through much less upheaval. The fourth Hokage and his wife survived the Nine Tails attack on Konoha, and the Uchiha clan downfall never happened. 
Naruto and Sasuke eventually release the infinite Tsukiyomi, freeing Tsunade and the rest of the world and thus ending the fourth shinobi world war. Kakashi Hiden, Lightning in the Icy Sky Kakashi is appointed the sixth Hokage after the fourth shinobi world war ends. Yet a year after the war is over, he still has yet to officially accept the duties of the office. Tsunade continues to carry out all the responsibilities until he's ready, but also pressures Kakashi to make a decision. Kakashi requests that she wait until he completes his mission to guard the Tobishachimaru on its top secret maiden voyage. The Tobishachimaru ends up being hijacked by the Ryuha Armament Alliance during its voyage, and the hijackers threaten to kill the passengers if Konoha doesn't release their leader, Garyo, from the blood prison in Kusagakure. They also stipulate that Naruto not be involved. After being informed that Kakashi is aboard the Tobishachimaru, Tsunade summons Konoha's available personnel with the exception of Naruto. While trying to plan what to do, Tsunade is contacted by the third Tsuchikage, who informs her that the secret Tobishachimaru is visible from several countries, including its own Iwagakure. Although she assures him it is bound for Kusa, he warns her that he will need to destroy it if it threatens his village, which would complicate the relationship between Konoha and Iwa. Tsunade shares this threat with one of the hijackers, Ryo, but it does not deter him. Having few options left, Tsunade decides that the ship must be destroyed before Iwa is forced to intervene. She has Ino Yamanaka tell Kakashi to do what he can, but also warn him of her decision. She leads the assembled available Konoha ninja to the blood prison to be on hand in case the worst should happen. Kakashi ultimately crashes the Tobishachimaru just outside the blood prison, thus averting an incident with Iwa. However, several passengers died during the hijacking and the entire incident has been an embarrassment to Konoha. Tsunade is outraged by these developments and orders Kayo, the highest ranking hijacker to survive, taken into custody. Kakashi intervenes, asking that he be allowed to pass sentence on Kayo instead. Tsunade allows it on the condition that Kakashi make it his first act as 6th Hokage, which he agrees to. After the war, Tsunade studies the material that White Zetsu are made from, and from her research is able to create prosthetic arms for Naruto and Sasuke, though Sasuke declines his. The Last, Naruto the Movie Two years after the Fourth Shinobi World War, Tsunade oversees the evacuation of the Land of Fire's citizens to a fallout shelter to escape the crashing moon. Naruto ultimately prevents the disaster, the announcement of which Tsunade happily listens to. Sakura Hiden, Thoughts of Love, Riding Upon a Spring Breeze Tsunade meets Sakura for drinks, partially to congratulate her for her recent work with the Konoha Hospital, but also to try and convince Sakura to take it easy, as she's been working harder than she needs to. Sakura changes the subject by asking how to gain men's attention. When Tsunade can't offer her any specific advice, Sakura asks that Tsunade bet against her love life, hoping for Tsunade's bad luck to play in her favor. Sakura later meets with Tsunade for drinks again, where she shares rumors that someone with Sasuke Uchiha's appearance and chakra signature is conspiring against Konoha. The appearance is easily faked, but the chakra signature has Sakura stumped. She asks Tsunade if it would be possible to reproduce someone's chakra signature by gathering large amounts of skin and hair that naturally fall off. Tsunade deems the idea plausible. Sakura is reassured, and Tsunade tells her she's happy to help, but she reminds Sakura that she's retired and that she should try to figure out things for herself. Konoha Hiden, the perfect day for a wedding. Tsunade attends Naruto's marriage to Hinata Hyuga. Yamato runs around prior to the ceremony making final preparations, which Tsunade occasionally offers advice on. New Era In later years, Tsunade continued to stay close with Naruto, watching his growth as both a family man and the seventh Hokage. She also came to know Naruto's children, especially terrifying Boruto with her temper while scolding him. Twelve years after Naruto's wedding, while a five Kage summit was being held in Konoha, Tsunade and the other retired Kage visit the third Tsuchikage to, as Tsunade puts it, get drunk and complain about things. Mitsuki's Disappearance Arc in the anime, when two Chunin gate guards were attacked by unknown assailants, the village was put on lockdown. Tsunade soon after returned from her trip to meet with Naruto about the events. She then joined him when Ino probed a guard's minds for answers, learning that Mitsuki had left willingly with the attackers. When Tsunade asked who the boy is, Naruto revealed that Mitsuki was in fact Orochimaru's son. Tsunade was furious that Naruto would permit an offspring of the man who killed the third Hokage live in Konohagakure, let alone keep it a secret from her. Naruto rationalized this on the grounds that Orochimaru's conduct had changed from before and that his aid in investigating the Otsutsuki is invaluable. Despite this, noting the unpredictable nature of Orochimaru, the meeting ended with deeming the Oto-born boy as a threat. As the council and Hokage continued to talk about how to best deal with this, Tsunade concluded that it was a waste of time to discuss the merits of Naruto's decision to allow Mitsuki into the village. 
and they should focus instead on how to deal with the current situation. As Tsunade continued to keep word about Mitsuki quiet and the council from taking drastic actions, questions continued to build up on Mitsuki as Naruto and Shikamaru still felt the situation didn't make sense for Mitsuki to betray them. They began wondering if the enemy's goal was Mitsuki himself because of his unique background. They then received word that one of the guards was recovering and would soon awake to give them answers. When Shikadai contacted his father via phone, he revealed that Iwagakure was taken over as part of a plan by Onoki. Knowing that they couldn't act hastily, Kakashi and Tsunade were sent to meet with the other great villages to get their support on engaging this personal matter. Time Slip Arc In the anime, when a grown-up Sasuke and Naruto's future son Boruto were sent back in time shortly after Sasuke's defection, the two bumped into Jiraiya and Naruto. After, Jiraiya framed the two for his discovered peeping, but Tsunade arrived and resolved the situation. Tsunade asked about Boruto and Sasuke's arrival, and Sasuke claimed that they were traveling performers who utilized ninjutsu during their performances. Still somewhat suspicious, Tsunade ordered Naruto and Jiraiya to guard Boruto and Sasuke, proclaiming that a recently defected Genin, as well as Konoha still recovering from an assault during the Chunin exams, they needed to remain on their guard at all times. They couldn't afford to let strangers walk into their village. Later, Tsunade assigned all the Konoha Genin to clean up the bathhouse to make up for the commotion Naruto and Jiraiya caused there. Days later, after Sasuke and Boruto completed their mission to defeat Urashiki Otsutsuki, Sasuke used his Sharingan to erase Tsunade's memories of the actions to protect the timeline. Kara Actuation Later, after the defeat of Victor and the fall of his company, they learned that the Elder was in league with Kara. They were horrified to learn of Victor's attempt to recreate the God Tree. Tsunade asked if it was possible Victor was the head of Kara, which was noted to be unlikely. Following an investigation of the company, they realized Kara had spies through the world. In light of this news, the question of whether or not to close the gates to the village came up. Ao Arc In the anime, Tsunade attended the memorial service for the fallen people of the 4th Shinobi World War. There, she gave a speech to honor those people and voice her condolences to the victims' families. Kawaki Arc In the anime, Tsunade aided Shikamaru's coordination efforts in preparation for Ishiki's invasion. Abilities Like other students of the third Hokage, Tsunade is an exceptionally talented shinobi. Her skills became well known following the second shinobi world war when dubbed by Hanzo as a Sanin, alongside Jiraiya and Orochimaru. Tsunade's skills are popularly held as the reason for Konoha's victory during that war, and in the years following became known as the world's strongest kunoichi. Despite being rusty, Tsunade's skills easily outclassed Kabuto Yakushi's when they battled, with him having to rely on using a military rations pill to continue battling, and use her fear of blood against her to gain the upper hand. Upon overcoming this, she fought Orochimaru one-on-one -on -one and defeated him near single-handedly. She would later go on to become Konoha's fifth Hokage and was responsible for saving countless villagers when Pain decimated the village in part 2. Even the likes of Madara Uchiha admit that Tsunade was worthy of being a Kage. Chakra and Physical Prowess As a descendant of both the Senju and Uzumaki clans, Tsunade inherited their life force and physical energy, enabling her not only to battle the likes of Madara Uchiha for over half a day without exhaustion, but even survive being bisected and retain consciousness long enough to heal others before being healed herself. Her reserves of chakra are immense, enough to heal several thousand shinobi during the final battle with Obito Uchiha. She also has excellent control over her chakra. After the Second Shinobi World War, she started gradually storing her chakra into the strength of a hundred seal on her forehead. When the seal is released, Tsunade has access to all the accumulated chakra, totaling a so named hundred times her usual chakra levels. Although she normally uses this extra chakra to heal injuries or perform her other jutsu, she can also transfer the chakra to others, either to replenish or amplify their own. Tsunade teaches her student, Sakura Harano, how to build up chakra in her fists and release it on contact with a target, causing severe damage. Tsunade presumably uses this ability herself, but it isn't always clear when since she is very naturally strong, enough to lift Gamabunta's sword and was noted by Hashirama to have possessed immense strength even when only a few years old. Her physical accomplishments, whatever the cause, include splitting the ground with only a finger and breaking six of Jiraiya's ribs, both his arms, and rupturing several of his internal organs. She even broke through Susano in absolute defense with only a few hits. Tsunade believes that it's vital for a medical nin to avoid injury as they cannot perform their duties if anything happens to them. To a certain extent, her unnatural strength helps her in this regard, as opponents may avoid getting near her so that she cannot strike them. At the same time though, Tsunade is regularly injured in combat, even going so far as to place herself in harm's way in order to protect her allies. 
This is all because Tsunade deems her creation rebirth ability a reasonable exception to the avoid injury tenet, as she can receive serious damage and still survive. Even without the creation rebirth, Tsunade's ability to endure injury is quite impressive, as she can survive several mortal stabs to the chest and remain able to perform jutsu after being bisected. Ninjutsu Tsunade can summon segments of Katsu, a slug from the Shikotsu forest. In addition to fighting alongside Tsunade, Katsu can use her divisions as a form of long-distance communication or to move and shield Tsunade's injured allies. Should her allies be a distance away, she can send Katsu to their location. By linking with Katsu, Tsunade can monitor those that Katsu has attached to, remotely healing them and replenishing their chakra as needed. Tsunade's natures include lightning, fire, water, and earth, as well as yang and in the anime Yin release. She isn't seen directly using any of these natures in the series, although her body pathway derangement is suggested to use some amount of lightning chakra. She injects her chakra into an opponent, scrambling their body's electric signal so that commands to move their hand instead move their leg, and so on. In addition to her other skills, the anime shows Tsunade using some amount of space-time ninjutsu, fuinjutsu, and barrier ninjutsu. Transformation Technique Despite being in her 50s, Tsunade's transformation technique makes her appear as if she were still in her 20s. She readily alters what age she appears to be in order to avoid her gambling debts. Tsunade's unique transformation seems to be permanent, as she can maintain this form without exerting any effort, even when injured or asleep. The transformation dispels when she runs out of chakra, reverting her to her natural appearance. Medical Ninjutsu Tsunade is hailed as the world's greatest medical nin, able to identify ailments at a glance and treat conditions that other medical nin deem impossible to cure. Her skills are enough that Orochimaru believed that she could reverse the necrosis-like effects of the dead demon-consuming seal. Amongst other things, she healed the psychological damage of Tsukiyomi, fixed the damage to Rock Lee's spine when he was deemed a helpless case, and counteracted the effects of the three colored pills with instructions from the Nara clan medical encyclopedia. Her medical prowess was again demonstrated when she near instantly healed Shikamaru's severe chakra depletion after he came into contact with a root of the god tree, the chakra cloak surrounding him noticeably reacting to her treatment. Undoubtedly, the pinnacle of Tsunade's medical prowess is her creation rebirth, which draws on her vast chakra supplies to instantaneously heal any wounds she receives. Because it requires no hand seals to perform, she needs no conscious effort on her part once active, and can heal any damage no matter how severe, her chakra levels permitting. Orochimaru describes it as a form of immortality that even he is envious of. Despite how useful it is in battle, creation rebirth is a double-edged sword. The body's cells can only divide and be created a set amount of times. So whenever Tsunade uses the technique, she shortens her lifespan. Because of this, she only uses it in very desperate situations. Tsunade's skills extend beyond the typical medical ninjutsu. She earned fame during the Second Shinobi World War for being the only person able to make antidotes for the poisons of Tsunagakure's Chiyo. Similarly, she can make sleeping potions that are undetectable even to the most skilled ninja. She is knowledgeable enough to perform autopsies and examine damage on a cellular level. Following the Fourth Shinobi World War, she studies the material that the White Zetsu army is made of and learns how to make prosthetic limbs from it. In the anime, she researches Kabuto Yakushi's yin healing wound destruction and uses what she finds to raise the survival rate of Rock Lee's medical procedure. Due to her vast medical knowledge, Tsunade was primarily responsible for setting up the modern system of medical nin though she exempts herself from many of the laws that govern them due to her creation rebirth. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from Yamagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.